In this video, I will uh, go through how to make the same type of tasks, but without using Word documents, but use the Moodle inline editor to uh, show the introduction and also to show the assignment. So let's do that now. So I go back to my course page. I'm going to do, I'm going to put the editing on and I'm going to go into topic number two and I will edit that now. So create, oh, I have to click custom to change the title. Create a task without uploading Word files. Um, so I say it's safe. And of course I didn't write the wording. Task All right, task is ready. And now I'm going to add the same content as before, but not using the word files. So I start by adding an activity and this will be the introduction. Um, I can use something called a page and I will add that now and I will call it introduction. And then I will, uh, there's a description, uh, you can add it and you can show it on the front page if you want, uh, but the page content goes down here. So I will uh, find my files again. And you saw before I had the word files up here. When you want to paste it into an HTML editor like here, it's good to save it in notepad first to remove all the formatting. So I have done that. So this is the introduction. So I will open it, copy it, and paste it in here. Um, inside this one, you can also, if you want, you can add other types of files. Uh, you can uh, uh, record uh, a little something. Uh, and now it is recording uh, uh, some instruction here that uh, you want to give, and you stop it and you attach the recording, so now it's there. Uh, you can also add uh, videos like we have uh, seen before. Um, you can take any video and paste in the link. Um, and you can also uh, record yourself uh, with a little video recording if it was. Uh, you can make links, hyperlinks, you can do everything basically as you can do in a normal editor. So this is the introduction. I am pretty happy with it. So I will save it and return to course. And here we have the introduction. Then as before, I have reading materials and you can also do the same, but if you have PDF files that are good quality, it's always recommended to just use that. So I upload that as well. And now I come to the assignment. So I click add an activity, go to assignment and click add. Assignment name, create task, oh. create task uh, inline editor or whatever we can call it. Description, you don't need it. You can include it on the front page if you want. Uh, uh, sorry, now here you actually, instead of uploading a file like we did before, you can write it here in the description. So I find the assignment, I copy and I paste it in here. So here I have the instruction that uh, the student uh, need to use. This is what we in uh, DMM would call the test. And uh, so this is basically the assignment they have to go through. Um, we don't have to upload a file. Uh, however, you can do the two things if you want. You can have an inline um, description of the assignment and you can have uh, 
additional files, pictures, sound, whatever you need uh, there as well. I will take this off. I will find a way later to put that as default. Uh, there's no other things that you really need. Oh yeah, we need a grade. We need to say that this is two points. And this is a course. And it gives a maximum of two points. Uh, and as it is an activity that is, the teacher should correct, we will put it to uh, uh, show activity completed when conditions are met. And then we will say when the student have got a grade. And then we close it. So now we have basically created the same task twice. I will now uh, turn the editing off and I will go into the task we just have created. And here we have the introduction. I can click on it and it opens an editor here uh, with the text. Uh, you have the sound file and now it is recording. Uh, uh, some you have the video file uh, that you can play. Um, and from there you can, uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, when you have finished that one, you can then go back and you can uh, look at the assignment. And uh, here you will have the assignment uh, already done. And as you are a teacher, you can only view all the submission. It will tell you who has submitted the task. A student, they will basically get the button to say submit. Um, so that's how you make the two different types of tasks uh, in the Moodle system.